ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come Silver. Let's go, big fella. Are you still there? Willard Benton was seemingly a quiet, friendly man of good character and steady habits. For several years, he had been cashier of the Rock Point Bank and owned a small ranch outside of town. His fellow townsmen would have been surprised and shocked if they'd heard Benton talking to his ranch hands in the bunkhouse one afternoon. Men, the Rock Point Mining Company transferred their account to the Stockton Bank last week. Tomorrow is company payday, and the payroll will be coming in on the stage from Stockton. Over $10,000 in cash. You figuring on grabbing that payroll, boss? Yes, the stage will pass through Pine Valley just before noon. That's where you'll pull the robbery. Then head for here and stay at this ranch until the excitement blows over. I'll come out tomorrow afternoon to divide the cash. All right, boss. boss. I ran on to something on the way back from town that'll interest you. What is it, Russ? I turned off the trail to water my horse in a stream near some cottonwoods. I saw a couple of riders turn into the cottonwood grove from the trail. They didn't see me. What about them? One of them wore a black mask and rode a white stallion. The uh, other was an Indian. Holy mackerel, the Lone Ranger and his Indian partner. I think we'd better forget about grabbing the payroll from the stage, boss. Yeah, Arizona's well. right. It'd be risky with those two hombres around. We'll go through with the holdup. As for the masked man and his Indian friend, we'll kill him. <laughs> The Lone Ranger and Tonto had heard of the gang's operations and had come to the territory to help capture them. That night, the moon was bright, and as the two men were sleeping, shadowy figures moved cautiously through the brush toward the clearing in the cottonwood grove. The great horse Silver raised his head and caught their scent. He pawed the ground restlessly and whinnied a low warning. The Lone Ranger stirred slightly. Then opened his eyes. Experience had taught him not to sit up or otherwise indicate alarm. Instead, he slowly reached out and touched Tonto. Then spoke in a low voice. Tonto. Uh, me here, Silver, give warning. Move quickly. We'll slide out of the blankets and crawl into the shadows. 
Come on. Uh -huh. The two men moved into the shadows, leaving the blankets still rolled. A moment later, they heard cautious movements in the brush and heard a voice whisper. There they are. Let them have it. The Lone Ranger and Tonto immediately fired in the direction from which the shots had come. Oh, my ears. Let's get away from here. They're leaving. Let's get to the horses, Tonto. Uh, you think they're part of Outlaw Gang? It's possible. Hurry, we'll settle the horses. In a matter of moments, Silver and Scout were bridled and saddled. Tonto, the moon's bright. We'll try to find the trail of those men and follow them. Easy, silly, big fella. Easy, Scout, easy, fella. Come on, Silver! Come on, Scout! The outlaws, surprised and disconcerted by the sudden turn of events in the grove, rode hurriedly to town. Telling the others to go on to the ranch and report to Willard Benton, Russ went to the doctors to have his ear bandaged. Later, he entered the cafe. When Russ approached the bar, he noticed the sheriff standing there and staring at his bandaged ear. What happened, Russ? Somebody wing you with a bullet? Russ's first impulse was to deny the sheriff's observation. Then, changing his mind quickly, he said... Yeah, yeah, that's right, Sheriff. It's just a nick, but that bullet came mighty close. I'm glad you're here so I can tell you about it. You see, someone tried to ambush me while I was riding in from the ranch tonight. Did you see who it was? Well, I got a look at him before I lit out. One wore a mask, the other was a redskin. I figured they're a couple of the outlaw gang. Where did it happen? Oh, about a mile back along the main trail. Came riding from a grove of cottonwoods to the left. Well, the moon is bright tonight. I'll form a posse and go out there and try to find them. You better come along. Uh, well, you and the posse go ahead. I'll, I'll join you later. All right. I gully, this could be the break I've been waiting for. That masked man in Indian may lead us right to the gang's hideout. <laughs> Meantime, by the light of the full moon, the Lone Ranger and Tonto carefully studied the ground until they found the tracks left by the outlaws. Then they started in the direction of Rock Point. The Lone Ranger was saying, The tracks lead toward town, Tonto. Ah, we think of them part of outlaw gang. Maybe tracks lead to hideout. Whoever they were, they came there with the intention of killing us. That may mean they knew our identity. That's right. Since they failed in the attempt... They'd naturally try to cover their trail in case we followed them. Their tracks would be quickly covered in the crowded main street of town. That's right. Look, Kimasabi, riders coming over hill yonder. Look like posse. I think I know that, Sheriff Toto. We'll stop and tell him what happened. Ah. Bozo! Oh, oh. Oh. Meantime, the sheriff and the posse oh, saw oh. the two horsemen. As they closed the distance between them, the sheriff spoke excitedly. Hey, it's bright enough to see that one of those hombres is masked and the other's an Indian. They're the ones we came to find, so have your guns ready, men. All right, Sheriff. We ought to gun them down while we have the chance, Sheriff. Oh, hold it. They can't get away now. We'll take them prisoners. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I'll reach both of you. The Lone Ranger looked at the sheriff's face carefully, then spoke quietly to Tonto. Do as he says, Tonto. I was mistaken. He's a stranger. We're reaching, Sheriff. Hey, Sheriff, those are the two hombres that ambushed Russ. You better watch them close. We're not outlaws, Sheriff, and we didn't ambush anyone. We came Shut here. Up. You're wearing a mask. We know you two hombres jumped a ranch hang back along the trail a while ago. He came to town and told me about it. Lucky for you, your bullet just nicked his ears. Yeah, sure, right. Keep him covered, men. I'll ride close and disarm him. Right, sure. yeah, the sheriff's horse moved in slowly. The Lone Ranger waited tensely, and as the sheriff reached out to take his guns, he dropped his hands in a lightning-like move. No, you don't. He threw one of his guns and held it against the sheriff's side. Read, Sheriff. Be quick about it. Hey, what the... Hey, he's got a gun on the sheriff. Gosh, he moved like lightning. Sure Order your men to throw their guns into the brush, Sheriff. No, doggone it. I'll... Tell him. We'll throw a gun, Sheriff. He might touch you. Yeah, yeah, all right. Them all throw guns, Kimasabi. Good. I'll take the sheriff's. You'll find your gun with the other sheriff. You might get away right now, mister. But by thunder, we'll trail you, and next time we'll gun you both on sight. Let's go, Toto. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Hey, hey Sheriff. So ah, you stop yapping. Get down and find your guns. Oh, Easy. Yeah. Make a fool out of me, Willie. We'll find our guns and then follow their tracks till we find them again. Yeah, and when we do, I for once say we better fill them with lead. Oh, you're right. 
After they were sure they had covered their trail sufficiently, the Lone Ranger and Tonto pulled to a stop. Oh, easy, oh, 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 steady, big fellow. Oh. We covered trail, Kimosabe. Them not find us now. Tonto, I want to pick up the trail of the men who came to our camp tonight. The sheriff spoke of a man who had his ear creased by a bullet. Ah, uh, him say, Thunder tell him, we try ambush him. That means he was one of those who tried to surprise us at camp. Well, the sheriff and the posse are still away from town. We'll go there and try to spot that man. That good idea. All right, let's go. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode the back trail into town. While the masked man waited in the shadows, Tonto went into the cafe. Later, he returned to report. Color in cafe. Have bandaged on the ear, Kimasabi. Did he see you? No. Me stay out of sight. Good. We'll wait across from the cafe until he leaves. Let's go. After waiting for some time in the shadows, the Lone Ranger and Tonto saw Russ wearing a patch of white on one ear. Leave the cafe and mount his horse at the hitch rack. Come on, get up there. There he goes. I guess Silver and Scout and follow him. You think he won a outlaw gang? It's possible. He's the man who sent the sheriff and posse to find us. That's an indication that he was one of the men who tried to kill us. Not right. Him tell sheriff, masked man, an Indian, ambush him. Easy, big fella. Easy, Scout, easy, fella. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Meanwhile, Russ rode directly to the Willard Benton Ranch, where he put his horse into the corral. Then he entered the bunkhouse, where Will, Arizona, and two others were playing cards. The men tell me you got clipped on the ear by a bullet, Russ. Yeah, I was lucky to get away alive. Those two hombres were too smart for us. The failure of you men to get them means they'll be on their guard from now on. Yeah, and maybe on our train. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't worry about that. The sheriff and posse are out hunting for him right now. Russ briefly told about his conversation with the sheriff at the cafe, saying... Those two hombres will be kept busy avoiding the posse from now on. Yeah, but there's one thing we didn't think of, Benton. What? If the sheriff and the posse capture the masked man and engine, the sheriff is certain to find out who they are, then they'll all try to find yeah, the game. Right. Now listen, all of you. Let me worry about that. Meanwhile, take extra precautions to cover your trail after the stage holdup. You're still going through with it? Yes, 10000 is a lot of cash. You four men rob the stage and come back here and wait for me. Now, let's turn in and get some sleep. <laughs> I have to be on the job at the bank early tomorrow. And forget the Lone Ranger. I'll outsmart any move he may make. Unknown to Will Benton and his men, the Lone Ranger and Tonto had reached the ranch just behind Russ. While he stabled his horse, they had left Silver and Scout back among the trees and made their way through the brush and darkness to the partly open back window of the bunkhouse where they could hear the conversation. When Will Benton rose to go to the ranch house, the masked man and Indian hastily returned to their horses. Them members of outlaw gang, Kimasabi. Yes, we've learned the leader, the man named Benton, was connected with the bank in Rock Point. And then plan rob stage tomorrow. Maybe if we tell sheriff, him catch gang. Mm -hmm. Otto, I'm sure the sheriff has returned to town by now. It's well after midnight. I have something in mind. Easy, steady, easy, fella. scout, easy, fella. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue. Later that night, the sheriff and his deputy sat in the sheriff's office discussing the events of the evening when... Reach, both of you. Hey, what the... Is a masked man and injured. Hold the door, Tom. Uh... Mister, you're the nerviest hombre I ever saw coming in here like this. We're not outlaws. I came here to explain to you. Sorry, it must be done at gunpoint. Todd and I came here to help find that outlaw gang. To help find the uh, gang? Him, Lone Ranger, Sheriff. What? What's that you say? Him, Lone Ranger. Me, Tonto. We come find gang. The Lone Ranger? I huh? don't believe it, Sheriff. I still think... Oh, no, now hold on. He must be. Look at those silver bullets. And those fancy guns. And remember, he rides a big white stallion. Are you really the Lone Ranger, mister? That's right. Well, doggone it, why don't you say so when you, we had... You, uh, you told me to shut up. <laughs> I don't take chances when men are holding guns. Uh, do we need these guns now? No, no, of course not. And I'm sorry about that misunderstanding. Hold your gun, Tonto. Uh-huh. You see, mister, we started out to hunt you after a ranch hand reported you tried to gun him. That ranch hand is a member of a small outlaw gang, led by a man named Benton. Benton uses his ranch as a hideout for the gang while he works in the bank in town. Well, that's Willard Benton, the bank cashier. He's always been a quiet, steady sort of an hombre. I I can't believe it. We know for certain, Sheriff. Mm, That's right. Well, it's a surprise and a shock to me, mister. Yeah, to me too. We've found that there are five in the gang. Benton and his four so-called ranch hands. Now, they plan to rob the stage tomorrow. We followed the man who has the wounded ear... We overheard them making their plans at the Benton bunkhouse. Well, by thunder, I'll take a big posse and catch him in the act. Well, you'll not get Benton. He doesn't plan to be with him. I've thought of a way you can get evidence against both Benton and his men. How? I suggest you let them rob the stage. What? Meantime, send a telegram to Stockton. Now, listen closely. This is my plan. Just after the bank opened the following morning, the deputy, who had been at the sheriff's office the night before, entered and spoke to Benton. Good morning, Mr. Benton. Good morning, deputy. I got a little private business needs attention. I'd like to talk to you in your office. Of course. Come with me. Sure. What's up, Sam? Plenty. Good thing you got me the job of the deputy so I could spy for you. The masked man and engine came to see the sheriff last night. Briefly, the deputy told what had taken place. Then he said... He had the sheriff telegraph the Stockton Bank to send blank pieces of paper on the stage in place of the payroll. He figures the gang will grab the strong box and take it without opening it to your ranch. Yeah, that's what they would do. Go on. The sheriff and posse were to follow the stage, let the gang go through with the robbery, then follow them to the ranch and catch you and them with a the stolen strong box. <laughs> Well, they'll be surprised when there isn't any hold-up. Uh, let me finish. The masked man and engine have gone to Stockton. They're going to bring the cash in their saddlebags. They'll be on the trail some distance behind the stage. Fine. I'll ride out to the ranch and tell the men. They'll stay in hiding along the trail, let the stage and posse go by. Then when the masked man and Indian come along, they'll gun them and take the cash. I'll ride with them. We'll cover our trail and come back to town. Uh, better go to the sheriff's office. I'm due to leave with the posse to follow the stage back to town. <laughs> I'll see that you get your share of the loot, Sam. And after today, we won't have to worry about the Lone Ranger and his Indian friend. Benton and his men waited in hiding behind large boulders in Pine Valley. They watched the stage go by, followed shortly after by the sheriff and his posse. Meantime, a mile behind the posse, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, with a payroll in their saddlebags, rode along the trail. The stage has reached Pine Valley by now, Tonto. The robbery must have taken place. Uh We'll stop in town to leave the cash, then hurry out to the Benton Ranch to help in the gang's capture. Benton and men be plenty surprised when them get caught with strongbox full of paper. Catching them there (laughs) with the strongbox in the presence of Benton... Be definite proof against him and his men. Isn't that right? Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. The two men rode in silence until they reached Pine Valley. A warm breeze was blowing toward them, and as they started up a rise a short distance from the boulders, 
the intelligent stallion Silver caught the scent of men and horses. Sensing danger, he broke his stride and whinnied a low warning. Who said it? Who's got a who? Silver, give warning, Kimasabi. Yes. We'll dismount and lead the horses back among the trees and brush. Then we'll move forward through the brush on foot to investigate. Let's go easy, sir. Easy, Scott. Easy, brother. Come on, Scott. Come, Scott. Come, Scott. Come, Scott. Meantime, after leaving Pine Valley behind the stage, the sheriff halted the posse. Oh, 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 oh. According to what I was told, the gang was to stop the stage in Pine Valley. Yeah. Whoever told you must have made a mistake. Yeah, stage got through safe and will soon reach town. Well, the hombre who gave me the information isn't the type to be mistaken. I didn't tell you before, but I got it from the Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger? Uh, Sheriff, it looks mighty funny to me. How do you know he wasn't someone posing as the Lone Ranger? Ah, Tommy Ryan. Yeah, maybe. If those two hombres are just a couple of owl hoots, they could have made off with that cash. Might have told you that story just to pull the wool over your eyes and have you go along with their plan. No, no, I won't believe that. The gang must have got wind of our plan somehow. I don't see how they could. Nobody knew about it except those two hombres and me and you. I... Suddenly, the sheriff was silent. The thought had flashed through his mind concerning what he'd been told about Willard Benton and that the deputy, Sam, had been recommended to him some months ago by that same Benton. He glanced sharply at the deputy... Then spoke. Well, there's no use following this stage from here into town. We go back and meet the masked man in Indian. I tell you what, Sheriff. I'll take a couple of men and follow the stage to town while the rest... No, no, Sam. I want you to come with us. Right here beside me. Let's go, men. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. there. Leaving Silver and Scout hidden in the tall brush under the trees, the Lone Ranger and Tonto moved on foot in a wide circle through the thick undergrowth. Tonto pointed, saying, Look, Kimasabi, some men waiting with drawn guns behind Big Boulder. They let the stage go by unmolested. They must be waiting for us, Tonto. Somehow Benton learned of our plan. Ah. We'll creep up on them and take them by surprise. Come on. The masked man and Indian moved cautiously toward the waiting outlaws. Suddenly, a crow with a loud, cawing cry flew from a nearby tree. Benton turned just in time to catch a glimpse of a figure darting behind a large tree. Someone's sneaking up behind him. The outlaws fired as they took cover. The Lone Ranger and Tonto quickly returned their fire. One of them took a bullet. Ah. The odds are against us, Tonto, but we'll do what we can. At least we can stop them from getting to their horses. Come on. Meantime, Benton talked hurriedly to his men. Listen, all of you. Arizona's wounded in the leg and can't be of much help. I'm sure the two men back there are the Lone Ranger and the Indian. Yeah, yeah. So am I. There are four of us. Arizona will stay here and use his gun to draw their fire. Two of us will crawl through the brush to one side, the other two to the other side. We'll try to circle and get behind them, understand? Yeah, yeah boss. Yeah. Russ, yeah. you and one of the men go to the left. I'll go with the other man to the right. Move quietly and cautiously. Right. We must get those two hombres before they have the chance to get us. Let's go. Come on, Steve. <laughs> In spite of his leg wound, Arizona continued to fire toward the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Tonto, I think only one man is firing at us. Ah. Keep your eyes open. The others may be trying to creep upon us through the brush. The two men hurriedly scanned the surrounding terrain. Then suddenly... Down, Tonto. Ah. A shot came from behind us. The masked man and Indian crouched in the brush. They realized they were in a dangerous position between the men firing from the boulders and those behind them. Using their guns now would divulge their location. They crouched in the brush and waited tensely. Then... Riders coming from town, Kimasabi. Look, men running from behind us toward the boulders. The outlaws are heading for their horses. Use your guns. Ah. A bullet hit the outlaw, Russ, and before the others could reach the horses, the sheriff and his posse moved in, firing as they came. Benton and his men, caught between the Lone Ranger and Tonto and the posse, fought desperately, but were soon forced to give up. A short time later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto mounted Silver and Scout and joined the posse. Oh, Silver. Oh, Scout. Oh, easy. oh come on. Good work, Sheriff. Thanks. Mister, we got them all, including Benton. Somehow they found out about our plan... 
In fact, I think I know who tipped them off. Reach, Deputy. Hey, 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 hold on. You were recommended to me by Benton some months ago. And since then, the outlaw gang knew every move I made. We'll get plenty of evidence against Benton and his men before we're through, so if you're smart, you'll talk. And maybe get leniency from the court for turning state's evidence. I don't know anything. I'm as surprised about Benton as you are. He's lying. Benton placed him with you as a spy for the gang. Shut up, Rush. No. If there's something to be gained by talking, I'll talk. You thought you were smart, Benton. Smart enough to get the masked man and engine out of the way. (laughs) Sheriff, you'll find plenty of evidence of past robberies at his ranch house. Sheriff, he's lying. I learned my ranch hands were operating as a gang. I followed them out here today in order He's to... He's the one who's lying. I did tell him about the plans. Benton leads the gang. Now he's trying to save his own skin. Yeah, that's right. Sheriff, I think you have the evidence you need. Toto and I will go on ahead to Rock Point with the payroll. We'll meet you later. Adios, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. You fools. You men have done the job you were supposed to do last night and surprised those two men at their camp. This wouldn't have happened. <laughs> You're the fool, Benton. You may be plenty clever at pulling the wool over the eyes of other folks, but you sure were mighty stupid to think you could ever get the best of the Lone Ranger. is a feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, created by George W. Trendell, produced by Trendell Campbell Muir Incorporated, directed by Charles D. Livingston, and written by Dan Beatty. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. <laughs> <laughs>